Hi everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share the videos, check out the notes section for all sorts of interesting links and information and things to retweet and like, etc, etc. So, as many of you know, at the beginning of the month of July, we're at the end of the month of July now, I talked about how the people at Vcash and I talked and that I was going to try to get people to know about this uh, altcoin named Vcash and just to get the volume up so people would trade it more and I wasn't going to say oh it's the greatest thing in the world I was just trying to get these get their name out there just do some marketing for the people on my channel so we reached a little agreement and I mentioned them in some videos so here's uh, another video I'm mentioning them in but I I never expected this month to be so dominated by altcoins. Um, we had the halving, and I thought it was going to be all oh, halving. Now, once the halving passed, I've been talking a lot about altcoins. Just, I mean, it's been big in the news from Steam to Ethereum Classic. Uh, just things you can't predict in the cryptocurrency world. It's just, it's just amazing. And, and it's hard to be an altcoin. Um, it's hard to get on exchanges. It's hard to get on Shapeshift if, if you're somebody like Vcash. I mean, that pretty much sums up uh, the life of a, a not so well-known altcoin. That's that's legitimate. You know, they they have to get their volume up, and it just shows you that Ethereum Classic. Wow, the, and and Steam also. Just they they've had incredible rises and just huge trading volumes and this is not the rule this they are the exception I mean we've had Monero around for a while and I mean they, they are on some exchanges and everything but it's hard it's hard you need people marketing for you you need um, a very vocal community and you need some luck and you need some controversy probably also that that has helped uh, obviously Ethereum Classic but I I wanted to uh, point out that also what I've learned about altcoins, and I think I knew about this beforehand, but there are some really passionate communities out there, be it the small ones or the, the, the larger ones. And obviously Bitcoin has a very passionate community too, but the, these, these other ones are like gangs almost sometimes, you know? It's, it's almost like the sharks and the... The Jets from West Side Story. <laughs> What's that? Monero and uh, Dash there? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just joking. But there, there, there are some passionate, passionate altcoin communities out there. Um, and yes, so it's not just Vcash Month. It is Altcoin Month. It has become naturally. Um, I did mention the other day that Steam Dollars were trading on Poloniex for above a dollar. And as long as that was going on, you didn't have to worry about Steam very much. Well, now they're below a dollar. They were like 90 cents, one Steam dollar. Now, I, I wouldn't panic or anything like that, but they're supposed to be a dollar. So the market isn't valuing Steam and Steam at the same way. You know, Steam, it keeps on going offline, too. I haven't mentioned that. That's pretty annoying. I, I, it's just growing way too fast for them to handle. Obviously, they're doing some maintenance. But all of you have noticed this, that Steam, it has been offline a lot which is uh, which is unfortunate uh, I, I've read all these great tweets lately um, about Ethereum Classic I, I might link to some just some very positive inspirational ones because these guys again are really trying to say you know we stand for something and this is this is us putting our feet our foot down saying enough is enough this is what we stand for and it, it really is I mean I know there's some people who are really frustrated by Ethereum Classic and, but I mean this is like a grassroots effort it really is a grass this is a true grassroots effort um, and it has really in my mind Ethereum Classic has change the very definition of altcoin. It, it, I mean, this is a true alternative. Ethereum Classic is is a true alternative. And it, it's just put it a put it in a new perspective for me. 
Um, by the way, I know a lot of you send your money over to Steam and buy Steam dollars and then it gets locked up for two years. And I don't recommend doing that. And by the way, I don't, I don't recommend um, spending lots of money on altcoins either. I mean, I have mentioned that I... For, first of all, the, the Ethereum that I own, I got at the crowd sale. So I got that really cheap. I don't even know how much I paid. It was so darn cheap. I, and it was so long ago now. Ethereum Classic, I have I have purchased some Ethereum Classic. I told everyone that. But that was cheap. That was very cheap also. And every penny that I, I used on that, or what, there, was, there was a little bit I had, like a weird Bitcoin account that I never used. It had some weird amounts, so I threw some of that in there. Uh, I was never going to use that for anything else. Very, very small amount. But again, I used Steam earnings um, also on this. So I say to the people who are earning money off of Steam, you know, or, or, the, or the people who are buying Steam dollars, you know, if you're going to risk your money on, uh, excuse me, Steam Power, I should have been, you know, it gets so confusing, people. Uh, if you're buying Steam Power for some r weird reason, um, you, why, why don't you just spend 60 bucks on uh, Ethereum Classic? I mean, it, it's the same type of gamble. It really is. And again, these, these are all gambles. Um, Bitfinex, oh, the guy who was going to attack Ethereum Classic, or maybe was attacking it, has said on uh, Twitter that he's giving up, and maybe that's why the Ethereum Classic price just went up. Their volume is still incredibly high, third highest amongst the altcoins. I mean, this is just a this is just crazy stuff. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with, if so, to make sure you get the most valuable information at, at the end for the people who actually sat through this entire thing, uh, Bitfinex, Bitfinex, the uh, exchange, big exchange, I have heard rumors as early as Wednesday that they are going to start trading Ethereum Classic, so that might affect the price. I'm Adam Meister. The Bitcoin Meister. Bitcoin has been solid lately. It is below 650 right now, I think. Or uh, whatever. I mean, again, it, as long as it stays in that solid range, it's cool. It's getting people used to consistency. So I'm Adam Meister. I'll talk to you later.